finally some sunshine after two weeks of rain. Yay! Okay, I need to get into action mode because it's supposed to rain again for the next 10 days. And with Dave, I built this very sketchy scaffolding. It's not good. It's anywhere. very wobbly. Literally, I'm no, it's not good anywhere. It can't go anywhere. No. It is awful, but it works. I just cleaned this edge off here, so I'm gonna also plaster this part, if I can find the motivation. And I don't know if I'm gonna film it, because the safety people here on YouTube, they're gonna kill me for this. Please don't ever paint your house like this. I'm really not proud of how I did it and I should have just invested in a proper scaffolding. Not a role model here. I will take better care of myself next time. one thing a day that scares you right this was really dangerous probably the worst job i've ever done here so i'll now continue i'm just mixing my lime paint mm. brush it into the uneven wall. Okay, I think I'm winning the worst way to paint your house, Guinness World Book of Records. But if you're watching this, then it means that I survived. <laughs> I'm so glad the paint stayed on in all of this rain. I'm back in the ground floor basement of the stone house, which is located right here. First step of the renovation was to take out the floor. We will continue with the bathroom now. Ishmael and Angelo are going to come here full time. This is the most help I got until so far. And it's also gonna be the biggest project because it's much more to do than upstairs actually. It's a bit scary that the whole house is built on that because the rock is super soft. Yeah. <laughs> Today we will support these bottom parts of the wall because especially on this side they are very unsolid. Here it's a little bit better. Then I can sleep more calm again. So, so here we are. Yeah. So here we are. finish Good. this. It's gonna be a bit tricky here because they are sticking out. So you want a little bit more here. Right? Chisel a bit more off, yeah. Here is going to be a little bit different because since it's a little bit lower, lower you yeah. can bring it a little bit more here and then we fill up with the concrete.
here is just going to be two. Two and not three. Yeah, it's not really enough with one, no. Or we'll just make two and just pour it to the height we want it. Yeah. If mine doesn't destroy our work. <laughs> <laughs> Some more cladding to recycle. This is always so handy to have. We have a filler. Okay, good. Come. Okay. More, more to the to the wall as possible. All right. All right, Mano. So does one of you have a long drill? Long no. drill. Now we can put ice in here and make an icing ring for <laughs> ice skating. <laughs> 70. I think we can go with 70. I'm going to put some drainage openings in the bottom of the support wall. Typical building day. Somehow the earth stick that's earthing my electrical system got loose. Now I need to drill a new hole into the floor. So I went to Paul's place to get a long drill and a new earthing stick and some cement bags going to so many different shops because there's a perfect shop for every little thing here in the countryside. I feel like a wizard with this. A long drill. Oh wow, this burn is really bad. It doesn't hurt though. So it's time to pour in the concrete into the shuttering. Morning! Good morning! Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> These walls will get some support now. I'm so happy about that. I burned my chin yesterday on the fireplace. I just went in too far with my head. So I look like some kind of Harry Potter now. This is fun. <laughs> I love this. Typical stress. They are running out of cement because it was planned that they started next week and then they started yesterday. So the material is only coming tomorrow. So now we need to go and get some cement bags. Good. What happened? These 
happen. Ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we just gotta throw dirt there again. Yeah. The guys did it. It was really a pain because the shuttering started to move and they had a big trouble to keep it where it is. As you can see, all the pegs lying around were necessary. So I'm very grateful that they did this job the best they could. And I think this house was never as stable. A big milestone, I'd say. Yay, let's go, let's grow. Now I need to continue with this room. Before I can start to build the interior, I need to paint the walls again. Everywhere there appeared some stains when I was still working on them. Also here on top of the backsplash. Working with this lime paint is fun as always. The weird thing is, at first it always looks worse than before. Only when it dries, it becomes white. Turns out the paint that has been sitting longer now is more white. So I'm ending up to paint all of the wall again. It's super patchy. I was helping Paul for the day and he had to cut some yucca palm trees. Still, I still got a spike in the back of my neck. <laughs> vicious. Let me help you. My water system is not working properly. The pump doesn't stop working, so it's taking a lot of electricity. So I need to turn it off all the time. I asked my friend Jerry if he could help me to have a look at it, as I'm not that experienced with pumps yet. Oh, I should have listened to you. We should have gotten another one. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is it? Yeah, of course it did. Yeah. Look at this filter. I didn't change it in a long time. <laughs> it's freezing cold. This is the inlet filter with a one-way valve. We're gonna put it into the water now. There's no elbow. So let's try this baby. So nice. It's finally working. And it stops. Before it never stopped because it couldn't hold the pressure. Good job, Sherry. <laughs> At last. 
Yay! I'm so freezing from going into that water pond. This heat is the best. It goes into the bones. It's like winter out there. lightning. I'm right in the middle of it. I hope it doesn't hit my house. I don't know what's up with spring but it's not coming to Portugal. I'm going to plant the yucca trees. They've been just standing here in a bucket of water. Of course it starts raining now. I don't care. Look at these stems. They must be really old. Mmm, full of microorganisms. Let's get inside and make a fire. My new protecting palm trees. Although they are not palm trees, as you keep telling me. So I'm going to fix the water inlet pipe with proper wire. Finally, after over half a year, my water inlet is fixed properly. It may look wonky, but it's actually pretty safe. Oh, there's the 
potatoes here everywhere. Yay, the first potatoes are here. Welcome. Now the other ones need to come. Everything is lush and green.